It's Monday and that means I have a safety tip for you to ponder this week. You know, the longer I do this job, the more I'm astounded to see the vast number of back injuries that occur on a regular basis on construction sites and facilities across the country. I mean, trust me, I, I get it. I know many of you have been putting in years of hard manual work. There's no question that it takes a massive toll on your bodies. That being said, I want you to think about what we can control. Can, you, can, can we control our diet? Yes. Can we control our sleep and recovery? Yes. Can we control the amount we do to strengthen our bodies, also known as that dirty little word called exercise? Yes, we can. Every time I have this talk, I can't help but be reminded of a term I heard years ago, and I'm sure many of you have also heard of it, and if not, you're welcome for this, but that term is industrial athlete. The way I view this term is pretty simple. It's simply an acknowledgement that what you do on a, on a day in and day out basis requires you to be physical. Some more than others, but the fact remains, if your job requires you to perform any physical tasks on a regular basis, I want you to start viewing yourself as an industrial athlete. The reasons are pretty simple. Our bodies function and remain healthy when a basic set of principles are followed. The way we prepare for these physical tasks matters. It really does. Now, I've heard countless arguments as to why stretch and flex programs and similar programs don't work, but yet the stats continue to show me that they do in fact work. Employees that engage in these pre-shift routines experience less severe strains when they do get strained, they have quicker recovery times, and of course are less likely to have a strain, sprain, or repetitive motion injury in the first place. Plus they just feel better. And if you need proof that it works, continue to look on the job site to the world's largest contractors. They see the value in it, and so do I. Now, back to this idea of being an industrial athlete. Here are a couple questions I'm challenging you to ponder this week, okay? Number one, what does an athlete do to prepare their bodies before something even as simple as a routine, as a routine practice? Okay, that's number one. Number two is, why are they doing these things? I just want you to think through that. Number three, I want you to think about your current job function and ask yourself, is there truth to the term industrial athlete as it relates to my job? And number four, if you find there might be some truths there, how might an athlete prepare for your job based on the various physical, t physical components of those tasks, okay? So here's the deal. I may not know you, but I care about you, and I wanna provide you with some tools that will help you end your career on your terms, not some back injury or repetitive motion injury. So take these things to heart and be willing to approach your job with a completely different mindset that of an industrial athlete. I'm Jake Wolfenden with Summit Safety Group and I will be seeing you next week. But in the meantime, please contact me with any questions. Join the conversation on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter. I will see you next time.